French guy asks, how do you see the removal of net neutrality impacting blockchains? And a lot of people have been asking me this question on a number of different channels. Uh, I think it's a great question. Um, I think the removal of net neutrality will have uh, quite an impact, especially on broadband connections in the United States. You know, the, the problem we have is because the local loop, the last mile, is bundled with telecom providers. And um, in many, many countries around the world, the, they have what they call the local loop unbundling, which means that um, local providers are required to resell that last mile connection to third party service providers who don't need to actually own the network. They can just basically resell it, uh, which means there's a lot more variety of ISPs in the US. In the vast majority of locations, if you own the property, you can maybe get two three good broadband providers, and usually it's either Comcast um, or AT&T. Um, and uh, in many cases in the United States, you can only get one provider that gives you any level of bandwidth. And if you go to DSL, you can get you know, one and a half to three megs. Uh, so that's not very good. So net neutrality is a, is a, is a big issue because there isn't enough competition. This isn't a free market by any stretch of the imagination. This is an entirely controlled, license-based, monopoly, cartel market that has been, um, has had very little competition since AT&T was broken up in the 70s. And, um, and since then has centralized and centralized and centralized. Um, these providers are not operating in a free market. And the idea that we can suddenly introduce a free market um, ex post facto in the protocol layer, and then hope that everything works out is, is ludicrous, because the rest of the market is completely centralized and controlled. Um, if net neutrality is repealed, we're going to see some very nasty things happening with broadband providers in the U.S. Now, fortunately, the U.S. isn't the entire world, and fortunately, there are many service providers across the world who compete quite uh, aggressively. Blockchains are not going to be affected. Uh, I think, if anything, and here's the interesting idea, what if this generates a lot of demand for VPNs, uh, routing services, tunneling services, and various forms of stealth to make traffic appear as if it's going to um, one of the services or providers that um, that your service provider allows. Like if they put a cap or bandwidth throttle your favorite site, maybe you start routing a hell of a lot of traffic over Facebook Messenger, because that's the only service you can get to. Um, and what about funding those services with tokens uh, or cryptocurrencies? You know, one of the impacts that I've been predicting for a while is that cryptocurrencies will change the way we fund the infrastructure of the internet itself. And tokens provide us an opportunity to fund infrastructure. So, how does the removal of neutrality impact blockchains? Well, uh, centralization is an attack on the freedom of the internet. Uh, the removal of the peer-to-peer -peer capabilities of the internet, uh, centralization of routing, preferential routing, blocking, caps, and slowdowns. Um, are going to be interpreted by the network as an attack. And I hope the network responds with stealth, with evasion, with rerouting, with VPNs, and all of that should be funded with blockchains. Blockchains will be able to evade um, services are global. We already have seen the launch of uh, satellite services, not the satellites themselves, they were already there, but the use of commercial satellite bandwidth in order to propagate blocks and transactions. Um, it's too late to stop this thing.